Zero. Good. So we are recording today's class, and I'm gonna upload that to my YouTube channel. Lab manual. Here you go. Here's the lab manual. Information of the lab manual. You don't have to buy, but if you wanted to learn more, you can. You, you, you're gonna you're gonna benefit from it. I spent lots of time writing this lab manual. I got. You know, I came to a point that I, I cannot do any more improvements to the lab. I, I worked through this lab manual over and over again, you know, and I think I have a very good uh, lab manual that explains to you how the whole experiment works. Office hours. Okay, what are my office hours? Tuesday from 3.45 to 4.45. 3.45 to 4.45 on Tuesdays. 4 p.m. to 4.45 p.m. on Thursdays. Okay, if you want to join online, you can use the same link. I will keep this link open. You can either come to my office, my office, or you can join online. Let's see, my office room uh, is, is uh, it's not written down here, is it? Let me get that. It's 268, room 268. Two six eight SCC two six eight. Okay, if you knew, let me get. Uh, here you go. That's the the syllabus as well. Yeah, I, I must have put the. Yeah, it's strange. I didn't put it here, but it's 268, SCC 268, okay? I will upload a more recent version of the syllabus with this information. I'm going to, here you go, version 02. Zoom SCC 268, or, or the, through the Zoom link. Prerequisites, completion of physics 11 and mass 265 or equivalent. And uh, the link for the syllabus and other documents. Here you go. Let's test the this, this link, right? Is this one in the Google Drive? Okay. Let me see. Someone has a, a message there. I'm going to check it very soon. Hang in there. Shareable folder, this one. Uh, let's see here. Huh. It's two, 2021. There's something wrong here with this syllabus. Let's see. Thanks. Uh, the Wiley ebook in Canvas used in this class. Willy, uh, I'm Willy ebook. I do not know Willy. Who, who, who's Willy ebook? I, I, I'm not familiar with this Willy ebook. Okay. Wiley is, is the software that um, our physics professor is making his use, I guess. Uh -huh. But I'm assuming that's a different book. Uh, yeah, the labs and the lecture are completely different. Uh -huh. But Wiley, the Wiley ebook is only for the, li the lecture. And I guess here the lab is completely different. Yeah, the lab the lab that I use is my is my own spreadsheets. Okay, I I'm not familiar with this Wiley book. I have to talk to my colleagues here. I understand that they were using a, a software. Some of some of the professors, not everyone, was using a software for the for the lab. You're referring to the lab, right? Not to the lecture. Is that right? Okay, yeah. Okay, so let's see he go. Let me see. Yeah, this one is the latest one. Physics thirty seven lab spring twenty twenty two. And let let me yeah, what you have there is the physics spring twenty twenty one. Let let me upload this one. Doesn't look like I uploaded the PDF there. So bear with me and he go. Save it. 
let's see where this guy is located now see that uh, if there is a minor adjustment i will upload it later on okay so let's see what this guy is located in my okay it's located here that's good look it in the download folder that's good Are you talking, when you mean Wiley, you mean William Crawford? Is that what you mean by, by, by that? So here you go, let me get... Ah, okay, yeah, William Crawford, okay. Yeah, I'll, I'll talk to William, William about that. But, but I believe that he has only the notes there, is that right? Or I don't think that he has the lab, because he's not teaching the lab for Physics 37 this semester. Okay, so here you go. Let me put uh, here you go. The most updated syllabus is there in the Google Drive right now. I'm going to delete the older one. Okay, so here you go. So now you have in there, make sure you get the most updated syllabus. I put it as a version 02. Okay. Room SEC268, office hours. Okay, link ebooks, right? The, the ebook that I use is my own ebook with new and the course description. This is a lab component of Physics 37. We'll cover experiments in mechanics, including. We start with we always start with significant figures. Okay, then we do an experiment in measurements. If it's a regular experiment, not not a online experiment, what do you do? You get your hands dirty. You get uh, I give you small steel spheres. You measure their diameter. You measure their mass, and then you plot graphs to see if the experimental density of the sphere matches what's written there in the books okay so today i'll co start covering sequence figures and measurements with you but there are still some things that we have set up right uniform we're gonna go later on for uniform motion accelerated motion and so on required materials physics 37 lab manual bound notebook to keep notes desktop and laptop uh, when i mean bound notebooks i, I mean i mean a, a real bound notebook when you go there in real life professionals professional scientists and engineers they don't use that spiral notebook they don't use that it's not it's not considered professionally appropriate or even this spiral notebook of yours is not considered a legal document so one day you folks are going to become scientists they're going to become engineers you're going to work discovering something new okay you're going to generate new knowledge just like i have generated new knowledge in the past most likely you are going to invent new devices and if you're lucky enough you'll be able to commercialize your devices as well and if you end up commercializing your device, you will have to file for patents, like I have filed for my patents. I have been filed for patents since 1990, since I was 27 years old. When I finished, uh, when I finished my PhD in 1990, I filed my first patent with NASA. I used to work at NASA. And most likely, you're gonna, you folks are going to take the same route, okay, in the future. And... Why am I saying that? You know, in order, when you are filing patents, a patent is a legal document. And if someone challenges you on that patent of yours, you can use your bound notebook as a legal document to prove to, prove to whoever is challenging you that you did that work that you're claiming that you did. Okay? Even today with computers, we still use bound notebooks. 
we still use bound notebooks. I have a bunch of bound notebooks that I started producing on my own back in 2003, okay? I have something like 20 bound notebooks that I write there. Some things I log in my book, some things I log in, the, in my computer. But then that, that important scientific information that I believe is going to, must be documented in writing, I put that in my bound notebooks, okay? We bought on Amazon. We, that's right. You bought on Kindle. You buy on Kindle. Uh huh. Will it be an ebook? Yeah, it will be an ebook. The textbook. Let, let me go there to the Amazon website so you can see that, John. Okay, let me go to the Amazon website so you can see what, how it looks like. Here you go. Experiments and mechanics. Here you go. That's the link, okay? Do we have. Uh, that's the link right in here. Amazon. Okay, we call it. Uh, here you go, mechanics experiments in physics. So if you have Kindle Unlimited, some people have Kindle Unlimited. What's Kindle Unlimited? It's a subscription service from Amazon.com that you pay, I believe, $15 a month. You can download every book that's there in the Kindle library, okay? And you must have the software. The software is called Kindle. It's free. It's a free software works very well. I like I like this this service of Amazon with the Kindle software that you can download 20 books. Let, let me show you. I have, I believe I have a Kindle software here in my own. Oh yeah, here you go. See the Kindle here? You download this thing for free and you build up your library. Every now and then I buy some new books from Amazon and I put that in my library. You know, I I I don't buy paper books anymore. I don't buy paper books anymore. I you know, unless unless the book is not available in in electronic format, I just don't buy paper books anymore. I don't want any anything to do with paper books anymore. It's too much. It's too too much of a hassle. Let me see. I'm gonna show you my library. And when when we buy your, if you end up end up buying my lab manual from Kindle, you're going to have this software. You're going to have my lab manual there in the library. Let's see. Yeah, here you go. Here's my library. See that. All my books in my library. One of my books is also my ebook that uh, that's here. You know, patent yourself, Michael Big Short, Inventor Confidential. That's one of my ebooks that I have here. Okay, so if you download uh, the my ebook, you are going to have a library like that, and my ebook is going to be on your library. It works pretty well. I I like to use the Kindle software. Okay, here you go. Remember I told you I found patents? Okay, that's just one of the books on patents that I have here. They explain everything on how to file patents and how to get them awarded. Is that clear? Okay. So again, if you if you have a Kindle Unlimited service, you don't have to pay anything for the ebook to download the ebook. If you don't have, you pay just $9.99. Okay, the Kindle Unlimited is I believe it's fifteen dollars a month. It's something like that. Okay, if you're buying lots of books, lots of ebooks, then it's worth the Kindle Unlimited service, right? If you're not, if you're buying one book, one ebook every now and then, then it's not worth to buy the Kindle Unlimited service from Amazon.com. Okay, so he go and of course description, right? And then what I'm always talking about, I want you folks to get familiar. You know, to, to build up the habit of making notes in your bound notebook. Because a bound notebook is a legal document that uh, you can use if someone in the future, you know, during your professional life, challenge you on some result, results, any results that you might have, any experimental results that you may have. Okay. So what else? Desktop and laptop with Microsoft Excel. Very important. Microsoft Excel for data analysis and Microsoft Word for writing the lab report. Pen drive to store data. Reliable access to the internet. Safety comes first. Okay, that applies only to regular labs. I'm not going to go through that. Laboratory work. Why do we do the lab? To reinforce the concepts presented during the lecture demonstrate the concepts taught in real life. I'm going to put that, that in real life. In real life. What we learn in the in the classroom is not fiction. 
Okay, what we learn in the classroom is not fiction, it's real life. But it's much easier to learn those concepts when you practice, when you do it in real life. We have that, uh, that thing, right, that we say, if I hear, I forget. If I read, I understand. If I, no, if I read, I remember. And if I do, I understand. Okay? Have you ever heard of this? This little phrase, right? Here you go. I'm going to write that down here for you, okay? If I hear, I forget. Right? I don't like to, to absorb information, hearing from, from someone. I don't like. Okay? But sometimes you don't have any choice. You have to, to hear the information. But the next step is if I read, I remember, is better than hearing. That's why I always like to document my classes, right? At least you can read. And if I do, I understand. So it's different levels of uh, learning. The first level of learning is forgetting. The next level is remembering. And the next level is understanding. Okay, if I do I understand. And that's what the lab is all about. The lab is about understanding physics. Allows you to understand physics better. So remember that little piece of wisdom, I call that. Familiar, familiar, familiarize the student with various types of equipment available for engineering and research purposes. Okay, there is... We want you, of course, unfortunately, you will not be able to handle that equipment, those equipments, but uh, but at least you are going to, to see some of them, how, how they are used. Demonstrate method of data analysis. That we are going to do. That we are going to do with the Excel software and all the data, real data that I have for you in my Excel spreadsheets. In all experiments, I want you to choose no more than two classmates for a total of three students per group. No more than three students per group. I asked you to do the last time, right? Uh, if you didn't do, I will choose a student for you. I will choose a group for you. I, I will choose a group for you, and you will work with those students. Uh, you will be allowed to choose your classmates. However, the instructor reserves the right to change your group. Each student must be present during the meeting to perform the tasks will be working on. I, I need you all to be present here. I'm going to take attendance, okay? And I'm going to keep on checking with you all the time if you're present or not. Let's see, we have one more message here. Question, how will I find a book I bought on Amazon link? Okay, so here you go. Let's, let's do that. Uh, is that uh, John, right? Okay, here you go, John. Here's the book. You, you go to the link, right? Did you, did, you find, did you find this book here in the Amazon? Let's see here. Uh, oh gosh, let me go back here. See, did you did you went to this this place here, John? Yeah. Oh, you bought the book. Okay. How will I find the? Ah, oh, okay. How will you find the book? Okay. So you already bought the book. Okay. So now you need to download the Kindle software. Did you do that, you? You must have the Kindle software installed in your in your in your computer. It's not the Kindle device, okay? Amazon also has a Kindle device. You don't want the Kindle device. It's too expensive. The Kindle software is free. It's free of charge. You download the Kindle software. You install it. Once you install the Kindle software, you will see your book there in your, in your computer, okay? You got to do a search there in Amazon where, where, where to get this Kindle software, okay? I, I installed my Kindle software long ago in my computer. So he got Kindle app, Kindle app. Maybe, maybe you know. Maybe you get that in in the how to say in those Google Play. Maybe you get that in Google Play. Okay, Kindle. Uh, maybe you can get that. Well, that's not what it is. Uh, bestseller Kindle. That's not what I want. Kindle app. Let me take a look here. Has been such a long time. Oh, Kindle app download. See that? Maybe that's the one. Department, how to download Kindle app. Okay, here you go. To read your Kindle books on a mobile device, install the Kindle app. Go to your app store. Yeah, they have in the app store now. At the time that I installed my Kindle app, 
I downloaded it from the from the Amazon site, but now they have it in the App Store. And search for Kindle. Okay. Uh, select Amazon Kindle and download the app for more information. Go to setup and registration. Okay. So I guess it's clear now, right, John? I hope is that helpful, John? Give me some feedback here. <laughs> It looks like John is busy now, but uh, set up and registration. Let, let's click here. Set up and registration. I think I'm gonna search around for a bit. Yeah, set up and registration. Set up and registration. Install and yeah, see that. Install and register your Kindle app to get started. Okay. Installer update. See that. So so the way you do, you go to the Amazon.com website, search for Kindle app download. Okay. So let, let, let's put that in the syllabus. So so you folks, uh, here you go. I'm gonna write that down here. Okay. To read, here you go. To read my ebook, you must first install the Kindle app provided for the free Kindle app provided by, right? How do we call it? Uh, Amazon, uh, let's see here. Kindle app download, right? Here you go. Kindle app download. How do you, Kindle you know, uh, to read your Kindle app, uh, search Kindle. Uh, go to your app store. Provided by your app store, provided by your app store, or by Amazon. Either place you can get Amazon.com. Okay. So in the app store, you search for the Kindle app. In Amazon.com, you also search for Kindle app download. Yeah. You know? And, uh, and okay, to read my book, you will need first to install the Kindle app. Okay. This app, there are two ways of downloading this app. Here you go. One. One. Uh, go to your app store and search for Kindle. Right? That's one way. Here you go. Read the Kindle in books on a mobile device. Install the Kindle app. Go to your app store and search Kindle. Right? That's one way. That's one way. Or either way, here you go. I don't know know what those why those numbers are. Here you go. Here you go. I bold faced. Okay. Or in the Amazon.com store, uh, search for Kindle app download and uh, and. You will give, you will be given prompts to install the app in your device, whether is your whether is your mobile or your desktop. Okay. And by the way, the nice thing about the Kindle account is that you can access from anywhere, any device you have. That's the nice thing. You can access from your desktop, from your laptop, you can access even from a, from your cell phone. Here you go, here's my cell phone. You know, I like to read my books on my cell phone, right? I, I'm quite sure you know about that, folks. <laughs> uh, I, I believe, right? Maybe some of you don't. But uh, let me show you my cell phone. I also, you saw the Kindle app here in my, des in my desktop, right? Here you go. But my cell phone also has a Kindle app. So just one account allows you to access your library <laughs> from any device, okay? <laughs> I, I'm laughing, I'm laughing, folks. I'm laughing because think about that. I'm 58 years old. 40 years ago, when I was 18 years old, 17 years old, 16 years old, if you want to read anything, you had to go to a library. You either had to go to a library or you had to build your own library at home with all those bulky books, okay? When computers came into into the equation everything changed 
<laughs> okay? Everything changes. I started using computers in 1985 to write letters, but documents were not still available to, for you to read books online, okay? But back in 1985, okay? Documents started to become available for you to read online with the advent of the internet, okay? And that was around 1990, maybe 1989, 1988. Yeah, that's that when it started, around 1988, okay? And lots of things has changed since then. Technology is advancing at such a fast pace that it's almost impossible to predict what's going to happen like five years from now, okay? But it, it, it is a re it's really amazing that we have all this technology to access all, this, all those documents online in the internet. So it's, you know, it's a good thing to have, okay? Let's go down here. Think about that. If you have so much change that happened in the last 40 years, and I'm really amazed that something like that happened in the last 40 years, that I couldn't predict. Imagine what's going to happen 40 years from now, right? 40 years from now, I'm going to be 98 if I'm still alive. Okay, so here you go. But remember, computers do not substitute complete, uh, uh, completely your bound notebook. Not yet, okay? You, you're still going to be using a bound book ne next to your, to, your, to your computer. I know people, professionals, that they work with their computer and a notebook next to the, in a, in a note, a paper notebook next to their computer taking notes in the paper note, in the, in the paper notebook. So it's not going to completely substitute your comp computer, but it's going to make things, but computers still go, make things far more convenient. Okay, so let's keep on going down. Demonstrate methods of data analysis. Uh, so, remember you have to have a group. Maybe some of you already have a group. Some of you, I presume, may not have a group. I, I'm going to find that out very soon. Let's go through the syllabus, right? And then we start looking to that. Uh, each student must be, presented, must be present to the meetings to perform the task we'll be working on. The experiment consists in analyzing the data I will provide to you. We will also be performing some simulations on the FAT website. If you can access the FAT website, I recommend you FAT it. You, you will access it. They have some nice experiments there. YouTube, too, has pretty good videos there. And I'm going to show some YouTube videos for you. Okay, lab report. We will perform roughly a total of 10 ex online experiments. Experiment. Oh, let, let's put it between quotes, right? Because they're not exact experiments. And there will be a group report for each experiment. Group report for each experiment. The lab report consists of two parts. A hard copy report. Here you go. In, that will be, written, will be written in Microsoft Word. Microsoft Word. And a special data file in Excel format, an Excel spreadsheet, an Excel spreadsheet. You are going to be working with this thing all the time. Everybody knows how to use Microsoft Word, right? So that shouldn't be a problem. Right now I'm using Microsoft Word right in here. Right now I'm using Microsoft Word. I'm writing this syllabus in real time using Microsoft Word. I have been using, like I said, I have been using those text editor software since 1985, okay, it was, uh, again, you know, it's just an amazing thing that happened, because I use, you know, I like to write a lot, you know, I always like to write, I used to write science fiction, I still, I used to write science fiction stories when I was uh, like a 14, 15 year old kid, I like to, to write those things, exercise this type of uh, skill, and then at that time, we didn't have computers, remember? We didn't have laptops, we didn't have microcomputers. So you either would write your stuff by hand or you'd use a typewriter, right? A mechanical typewriter. If you had a little bit more of money, you'd buy an electrical typewriter, <laughs> okay? <laughs> if, so I didn't have money to buy an electrical typewriter, so we were poor there in Brazil, right? So I saved enough money to buy a used mechanical typewriter, very heavy one. I still remember that I had the 18 years, I was 
18, 19 years old. And then that thing was pretty good because I, I could type it and the document would be in a nice format, but it's a headache. It's a headache to type documents in a mechanical typewriter because if you make a mistake, it takes a long time to correct it. When computers came to into the equation, all you have to do is to move your cursor back and forth, you know, correct your document and make sure that the document has everything that you want in there in the proper way, and then you print it. Maybe in a group with Dinor, okay? Uh, Dinor and I became a group for physics, so we could ask each other questions related to the class. Okay, just make sure your group, that's John, right? Just make sure your group with Dinor doesn't have more than three students, okay, John? Just make sure that, make that sure. And then very soon I'm gonna get to you folks and then I'll find out what's gonna, what is your group. Okay, and so those are the stories that I like to tell my students. Um, both hard copy report and the Excel spreadsheet must be uploaded to a group folder having a link provided by the student. I will provide this, this link today after we organize all the groups. The deadline for this material is before the beginning of the next lab meeting, except for the la uh, last lab report that's due at the end of the last lab, okay? Once you get good doing those lab reports, you will be, you know, and, and you're gonna have one week to turn in the lab reports during the semester. The last lab report, you'll be able to do it during the meeting. All group meet members must contribute to the preparation of the group report to ensure the contribution of every group member. I advise although it's not requirement, it's not required. Although it's not required, right? That each group draft a simple agreement in writing among all members commit, committing each other to contribute to the right top of the lab report. This agreement should specify the contribution of each group member, okay? So I also got uh, the book working. Do I need to link the textbook to the class? No, you don't need to link. So let me see if I understand, John. You downloaded the Kindle software, right? Okay, and you were able to open my lab manual. Is that right? Were you able to open my lab manual? Yeah, it's, uh, let's see, you, you download the Kindle software, right? You download the Kindle software. That, that that you did, right? You have the Kindle software there. Okay, now now you I, I saw that you told me that you bought my lab manual. Did you buy my lab manual or not? Okay, you did buy my lab manual. Okay, once you once you open the Kindle app application, do you see my lab manual there inside? Okay, you do see my lab. Now double click on my lab manual. And then it should should open in your screen, right? Okay, good. So that's all you have to do. You don't have all. So, so do I need to link the textbook to the classes? No, you don't need to link the textbook to the class. No, you just uh, you know you're just going to consult that lab manual every now and then whenever you whenever you're doing the experiment. Or is buying the textbook all there needs? Yeah, that's right. I have a Kindle textbook. Look, yeah, that's right. You don't need to do anything else. You don't need to link to the course, nothing like that, okay? Good. So let's see, let me close that. And uh, your group report is worth 100 points and your grade will be based on several factors. The two most important factors are report every unit in your lab report. Okay, all units must be reported in the main SI units. What are the main SI units? Meter, kilogram, seconds, and any combination thereof. Okay, in this, in this, the, the other SI units are Kelvin, Coulomb, Mol, and Candela, but we are going to be using only those three in the experiments, so you don't have to worry about the others. And any combination of those three. Every possible company do not report your units in centimeters, millimeters, gram, milligrams, hours, minutes, etc. Okay, so do not report on the other units, just in the main, in the main SI units and their combination. For every missing or incorrect unit, and and let me tell you, many students don't don't they miss their units. 
I will subtract one to four points from your lab report. That's important. The correct number of significant figures. Okay. I want to ask you folks. Go ahead, give me, you know, give me some feedback. Everybody, we have how many students? We have 14 students right now. I want to know. Have you ever learned about significant figures? I want to hear from everybody. Yes. Yes. No, type there in the screen, please, so, so I, I can have a, I can have a document, a document of everybody. Okay. That's good. Some some of you have not. Okay. Okay, but most of you, okay, most of you have. Yeah. Yeah, most of you have learned about that. Some of you a long time ago, some of you haven't, don't recall. That's okay, I'm going to review that for you, okay? I do my sequence figures is slightly different, but it's, uh, you know, it's uh, the, the way I do my sequence figures is in the conservative way. If you took chemistry courses, they cover sequence figures in chemistry, right? They cover sequence figures in chemistry. Yeah. So, so that's what you have to worry more, well, the main, the two important ones, right? Sequent, uh, units and sequence figures. For each missing sequence figures, I will subtract 0.2 to 1 point from your lab report grades. For each sequence figure that is added incorrectly, I will subtract anywhere between 0.1 and 0.5 from your grades. I'm doing that for several years. It works pretty well, okay? The exact number of points subtracted will depend on the lab report. Other factors that will affect your grade. Okay, so remember, those are the two most important things in your lab report, in your spreadsheet, in your, in your hard copy lab report. Those are the two most, most important ones. But there are others too that are, that are important too, okay? So not as important as the other two, but they're important nonetheless. Proper lab format. There is a lab format. It's very simple. The lab report that I do is very simple. Doesn't require extensive write-ups. Okay. Uh, neatness, completeness, and accuracy of your results. Okay. One of the ideas of uh, doing la doing labs. L let me. Let me add that, oh, hang in there folks, I'm running out of battery. Bear with me a few minutes. Let me get here before I get disconnected, right? Good, now I'm hooked up here. One another important thing uh, about the, those lab activities, you know, I'm gonna put a, a, another. Remember, I wrote that down here for you. Uh, laboratory work, the importance of laboratory work, right? There's another important item here that uh, I didn't mention. I should have mentioned. I never mentioned to my students, but this is important too. Okay, Pratsy editing practicing preparation and editing of technical documents. That's what uh, the lab is all about, you okay? So, again, in real life, when you go to real life working in a Lockheed Martin, Boeing, or NASA, if you end up working, I have seen students that end up working at NASA here at JPL, okay? I have students that went to Berkeley, you know, things like that. Another one of mine works for a big uh, scientific equipment corporation, okay? So at those, at all those jobs, you you be required to prepare, prepare to prepare and edit technical documents, and so that's what this lab too is all about. You learn how to use Excel spreadsheets, how to use you are going to use you're going to learn how to use Excel, how to plot graphs, right? 
and so on. So that's another important phase of this of this lab. Okay, proper lab format. So neatness, completeness, and accuracy of your results. Reporting of the statistical results. He, he, he reported such as percentage difference, average, standard deviation, standard deviation from the mean. Those are always statistical parameters that are important. Regression curve. If you do not know what a regression curve is, you are going to learn about that. Determination coefficient, confidence level, and others. Okay? All those things. You know, what you see right in here, percentage, average, standard deviation. All those things we learn in a, at a very early age. Okay, Let, let's see, percentage and average. Percentage and average, you know, we, we learn a lot. Elementary, elementary school, maybe at, you know, the latest at a high school, right? Everything else is standard deviation. Should come a little bit later and standard deviation. Standard deviation from the mean as well. At, an, at another level, what you're going to have, a more advanced course in statistics, is the regression curve. Very important topic in statistics, not just in statistics, but in experimental sciences as well. And the determination coefficient. And the confidence level too is very important, especially whenever you're doing graphs. I'm going to cover that for you. I'm going to show you how to work with those, with those concepts, okay? For each incorrect value, I will, you know, of those statistical results, I will subtract anywhere between one to five points. And then, what else we are going to do? You are going to learn how to do graphs. If you have, if you haven't haven't already learned how to do graphs in Excel, if you took, a, you know chemistry lab, you, sh you should know how to do graphs, right? You should already know how to do graphs. And we're going to practice, let's practice that today, okay? I'm gonna, let's practice that together today. Uh, it's 7.56 right now, right? Eight almost 8 o'clock. What, what I wanna do, let's see, any questions so far? Before we go into practicing the, the, the graphs, what I want to do, let's take a little break. My throat is starting to get, to get dry. I need to get some water here, and at the same time, you must be tired, right? How are you folks doing? Uh, let's let's do like a 15-minute break. Okay, 70, yeah, 7.56 right now. Good. So let me write that down here, and then when you come back, in this meantime, go ahead and start setting up your Excel software there in your computer, and we are going to do some nice plot. And before we go into the break, I want to hear from you. Does any one of you already know how to plot graphs in Excel? I want to hear from everybody here in the chat box, okay? To keep it documented, right? Can you please answer if each one? Not sure. I Excel, Excel, right? No, Excel. <laughs> Almost that. Uh, I don't know I Excel. I do know Excel, John. Okay. Excel, Microsoft Excel. Okay. Uh, a bit of ex a little bit of experience. That's good. Not sure as well. Not sure. Okay. You you have to learn that. Okay. I have done it before the chemistry class. Okay. No. Okay. Ryan McNeil. No. Wow. I have past experience. I haven't done it in a while. Somewhat. It's very important. Okay. Uh, a professor here at the college is. <laughs> I I didn't know that. Okay. I was teaching Excel to my students in the labs. I was hammering them, you know, do this, do that in Excel. And then one day, this professor came to my, to my classroom and she was bragging there in the classroom that uh, students from LA Harbor College, they, they can get good jobs here in the region because they know how to use Excel, <laughs> okay? They know how to use Microsoft Excel <laughs> and Microsoft Word as well. And then, well, I was surprised. Oh, I, I'm teaching my students Excel. So, and, and so I'm, I'm giving them a competitive edge, right, over the other students. But uh, once, you know, it's a very, it's a very useful tool, okay? So make sure you learn how to use Excel. Um, I am, remember what I told you, right? I am, I'm, I am from a time that I was born without a computer in my hand, right? I was born 1963. Today we say that kids are born with a computer in their hand. Yeah, and they are born in a computer with a computer in their hand. And the computer that you are talking about is this one here. 
a smartphone is a computer. Okay? So, and so let's go ahead and take advantage of this mentally powerful tool and let's try to learn all softwares, all important softwares that are available out there, right? You're not going to learn every software that exists. It would be, you know, impractical to learn every software that's out there. But at least the most important ones, let's say Microsoft Word, Excel, and so on, right? PowerPoint. So it's 7.59 right now. Let's go for our break. And again, uh, before you come back from the break, you know, break from 8 p.m. to 8.15 p.m. Uh, during the break, before coming back from the break, before coming back from the break, make sure you have your Excel spreadsheet up and running. Okay? So, so let's go for a break. I'll put here my, my watch. 15 minutes and then we can take a little break now. I will pause my software, my recording software. Remind me, please remind me of continue recording, okay? Okay, so I'm back here and let's, before we continue with the syllabus, Let's take attendance, and then that's when I'm going to find out about your group, okay? That's when I'm going to find out about your group, uh, who, who is going to be in the group with you. If you do not have a group yet, I will choose a group for you. Uh, this thing is taking too long. Let me see here what's going on. I know the reason. Ay, 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 ay. Let me drag this into another spot. Yeah, I think I'm going to keep hitting downloads. You go. Not copying it. Oh yeah, it is copying. Okay, let me see. Someone has a message here. Let's see. Do you remember to turn on? Oh, yes, I did. Thank you. Yeah, it's uh, see, it's flashing right in here. Thank you. So here's my Excel spreadsheet. Okay, I use this Excel spreadsheet to keep attendance. This one right in here. Keep attendance in my course. Let's make sure I have your names in there. So you're going to learn how to use those Excel spreadsheets. And 37. Oh, no. Oh, no. Ay, 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 ay. I thought I had it the most updated one. Ay, 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 ay. No, I don't have the most updated one. Let me check here. Oh gosh, so embarrassing. Be this one here. Sorry, folks, that's uh, really surprising. Okay, must be this one. Okay, yeah, that's the one I was supposed to download. Let me download this one and we can start playing with it. Okay, so here we go. The problem with though, this cloud service is that they still didn't quite get it. And because the cloud service is still not 100%, uh, it's difficult to navigate and figuring out what's going on in the cloud, okay? 
So that's the difficulty that I'm having right now with this cloud service. I'm using one, one, drive, one drive here. Let's see, this one. Yeah, let me keep it. Hmm. Okay, so I'm gonna open here this spreadsheet. I use this spreadsheet to keep track of whoever is present, whoever is not present, right? Let me see. Oh, oh. Yeah, this one here. Protected view. Enable editing. Yeah, okay. So, there are several things that you can do with your spreadsheet. You can do computer programming. You can plot graphs. But you can also... No, do, so, uh, do a schedule of your labs, right? So, and I keep a roster here too. Okay, so let's see. Um, Ortacel, are you there? Just type there in the, in the chat box, please. Ortacel, I swan, right? Are you there? Okay, so, okay, good. Do you have a group, Ortacel? Uh, uh, wait a minute, Ortacel, do you have a group? Uh, Ortacel, I swan. Uh, no, I don't. My you don't. Computer. Okay, good. Okay, so let me put attendance here for you. You know, for now, you're going to be group number one, and I'm going to choose a student that's going to join you, okay? Here you go. I see that we have, let me see, last time I checked, we had 21 students. Uh, but here, right now, are present only 12. Let's see who is not here, right? And then we, I'll put it in group one for now, Ortacel. And Francisco Amesco, are you there? Let's see, Francisco, let's see. Let's see if he's listed here. I don't see any Francisco in my list, so most likely he's not here. I put whoever is not here, I put it in group zero. And then he gets a zero attendance. So Ernesto is there, right, Ernesto? Here you go, Ernesto Aragon. Just confirm it's you, Ernesto. Ernesto Aragon. Yes. Okay, good. Thank you. Let's see. Uh, why don't you join Ortacel in her group? Let's do that. That's good. Okay, Ortacel. So exchange uh, information with Ernesto. Okay, I'm going to put another student in your group. Let's see, we have 12 students. So you can do at least four groups. 12 divided by three. Yeah, four groups. Good. Roy, are you there, Roy? I'm here. Hello, uh, can you hear type, me? Type, type, type the chat window, please. Uh, I, I can hardly hear you. Okay. Okay, good. Do you have a group, Roy? Yes. With Aiden Samora. Aiden, okay, Aiden Zamora, okay, group number two. Let me see, I'm gonna put you group number two. Zamora is group number two as well, right? So I'll get to you, uh, Zamora, uh, Aiden. Next is Samuel Eguaroj, Eguarohi. Okay, and let's see, you are present. So, um, so I'm gonna give you an option here, Samuel. You can, jo do you have a group, Samuel? You don't have a group, okay. So you can join group one, you can join group two, or you can join any other group, uh, you know, that you want. Uh, let's see here. Uh, so why, why don't you join group one and then we close this group, right? If you folks want to change, just let me know along, as we go along the semester. If it's not worth, sometimes it doesn't work with the with your group members, right? So it, it's, it's okay if it doesn't work, but okay, so... Is that okay, Samuel? I'll put you with uh, Ortacel and Ernesto, okay? Here you go, group one. Uh, Brian, Brian Gonzalez. Are you there, Brian? Let's see, Brian, Brian. I don't see Brian listed here. So I'm going to assume that he's not here. And if you're not here, you're going to be on group zero. Okay, do you see how I'm doing the spreadsheets? You know, that's a very simple application. Do you guys have this? Okay. 
So let's see here. I'm going to let you, maybe you might want to start. Let me see if I can. Uh, let me see if I can adjust here. Host and co-host. Participants can chat with no one. Everyone. Yeah, okay. I, 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 can, I cannot adjust. Okay, go ahead. So when when you're communicating with whoever is in in the in chat list, make sure you put their name at the beginning, okay? So I I know it's not uh, the message is not for me, okay? So let's see, Evan Ilario, how are you there, Evan? Evan John Ilario. Let's see, I don't think he's here. Evan, I don't see Evan. Okay. So if you don't say anything, I'm going to assume you're not there. Okay, Evan Matthews Ilario. Okay, so it looks like they're brothers, Evan Matthew. Are you there, Evan Matthew Matthew Menezes Ilario? Nope. Okay. Sokavi Lay. Are you there? Good. Let's see. Do you have a group, Sokavi? Nope. Okay. So let's do the following. Group one is already closed. That's, uh, I'm going to put you on group number two. Okay. So go ahead. Exchange information with Roy and Aiden. Aiden Zamora. Okay. Nathan Lillian. Are you there, Nathan? Okay. Do you have a group, Nathan? Nope. Okay. So I'm gonna put you right now on group number three. So far you are alone in group number three, okay? Because group one and two are already closed. Okay, let's not see today, okay. Okay, Kevin Lopez. Are you there, Kevin? Let's see. Kevin is in my list here. JK, nope. I don't see Kevin in my list. Kevin, okay. Don't forget, it's very important that you attend because the if you don't attend, you're not going to get a grade for the lab, right? John Lortz. John is here, right, John? Okay, do we have a group, John? Do, do, uh, I got dinner, but I need one more person. Okay, dinner is what? The first name or last name of the student? Ah, you need one more person. So why don't you get Nathan in your group, right? Okay, let's put you. I'm going to put you in group three and Nathan is in your group, okay? Let me see. Dinner. Let me see if I can find dinner here. Dinner or Dino? There's a Dino. Dinner, okay. Dino Rozak, right? So I'm going to put it group number three. Okay. Ryan McNeil. Are you there, my Ryan? Okay, do you have a group, Ryan? Nope. Okay, so I'm going to put you on group number four, okay? Because group one, two, and three are already closed. So just take a note of your group number. It's very important that you take a note of your group number. Roberto Melena. Are you there, Roberto? Okay, I don't hear Roberto. Let's see if he's listed here. Roberto, Roberto, Roberto. Nope, no Roberto here. He's going to be zero, group zero. Joe Romero, are you there, Joe? Yes, do you have a group, Joe? No, you do not. Okay, so join, why don't you do join Ryan? Okay, again, you know, sometimes we, you folks end up in a group that's not working with your group members, right? So if that happens, let me know, and then I'll, I'll try to accommodate you. I'm adding you to my group, me. okay? Okay, so again, Joe, you know, make sure you take a note of your group number, right? 
Now we have two students on group four. Dino, are you there, Dino? Here, okay, so you're in group number three, right, Dino? With John Lort? With John Lort and Nathan. Okay, good. So don't forget to exchange your contact information. Juan Sanchez, are you there, Juan Sanchez? Juan Francisco Sanchez Jr. Let's see, let's see. Juan. Juan, Juan, Juan. Yeah, I don't see Juan here. Okay, so. Next is Espiritu, uh, Franz Darwin, right? Franz Darwin, Espiritu Sully. Okay, do you have a group? Do you have a group? Uh, no, you don't. Okay, so let me see. I think I'm going to put you on group number four, okay? Group number four with Brian, Joe, and you. Okay, Juan? Not Juan. Uh, Franz, right? Franz. Okay, friends, so group number four, and uh, again, here you go. Let me tell you who are your group members. Ryan McNeil, write that down, right? Joe Romero, and you. Okay, what about Robert Supelsa? You have no group, okay, so you're going to be on group number five. Huh. Okay, Aiden Zamora. Aiden, Aiden is not here, right? You, uh, someone told that Aiden is not here. Okay, so let's do that. Uh, since uh, there is nobody else here to be in the group with you, Robert, I'm going to put you on group number two, okay? Okay, so let's, let's uh, you know, just uh, uh, Aiden, uh, I, not Aiden, right? Whoever is on group number two, please welcome Robert to your group. You're going to be with, you know, today you're going to have three students in your group. Maybe next time when the, when when Aiden is, is around, you're going to have four students there, okay? So here you go. Group number two is Roy Sokavi, Robert Supelsa, and Aiden. I'm going to, if you folks didn't, didn't get uh, your group number, let me, let me sort here and I'm going to put everything in the proper order. Let's go. Here you go. Okay, so those who are in group number zero, they're not present. Then they're not they're not present and they don't have a group. Right? Here you go. With a cell group number one, right? With a cell Ernesto and Samuel. Take a note of your group members so you don't get lost. Roy, two, three, right? Four. There are four groups. Let's see. Four, for students in group two. Okay. So group number two, Roy Sokavi, Robert Supelsa, and Aidan Zamora. Na uh, group number three, Nathan, John, and Dino. Okay, so... And group number four, Ryan, Joe, and Franz. Make sure you take note of your group members. And then we're going to go for the next step here that I'm going to give you a link to your group folder. So the situation here, let's take a note here. Uh, I'm going to put the P. I, you know, I was supposed to do all of that in that first meeting last week. But then I didn't bring my internet cable. I couldn't connect my laptop to the internet, and I was using my my cell phone, right? You remember that, right, folks? Okay, so here we go. Today is February 17, 22. I'm gonna go back to the syllabus very soon. 
just taking a little break from the syllabus to get everything organized here okay at this point at this point you already have a group All right you already have a group make sure you have a group get your contact information get your the contact information information of your group members what you're supposed to do get your contact information from group, group member let me see if there is any message for me here lots of activity here in the chat right i presume it's just a communication between students if you have a message for me and I, I'm taking too long to answer you know just uh, turn on your mic and let me know okay let's say group to link okay no questions for me yet, right? It just those those messages are just among the students, right? You guys have Discord. I, I see that you everybody uses Discord. I never use Discord. I have heard a lot about Discord, Discord, but I never use it. Professor, colleague of mine, told me about Discord too. He uses it, but one day I'm gonna start using Discord. I I'm a late adopter of new stuff, you know. It took me a long time to buy my first cell phone. Okay. So, France, you have group... Uh, is that France is on group number four? Let's see here. Yeah, France is on group number four. Okay. Mm-hmm. It's almost better than Zoom. It's better than Skype is better than Zoom. Oh, okay. <laughs> we can add each other to the score since we all have it. Okay. Let me see. Can we Discord. So. Okay. So you're, you're every, every, everybody's set up, right? Let's go to the next step. Okay, next step is now I will provide you with the link to your group folder. Okay, I'm gonna provide you with the link to your group folder. Uh, do not, I'm gonna put in capital letters here, do not share this link with anyone outside your group okay this whatever documentation that you're gonna put in your group folder is considered confidential documents from anyone outside your group only your people on your group members in your group know uh, may have access to your to your lab reports okay so don't share this link with anyone else outside your group okay so first thing that you have to do let me see there's a message here sorry my okay good so the first thing that you have to do one student from each group please uh send me an email just one student from each group that i don't want to get emails from more than one student in each group okay one student for each group please send me an email to please do the following please do the following do the following one send me an email to my um personal email address personal email address coegalon at aol.com yeah, there is more there is more don't send the email yet 
I'm gonna tell you where, what, 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 what the email is supposed to have in this email. And remember, just one student for each group, okay? Per group, one student per group. I don't wanna get a, a bunch of emails from everybody. It's just, uh, I should be getting just one, one email from each, from one email per group, right? In this email, write the following in the subject line. In the subject line, only that um, P thirty seven group and your group number, right? Group number. So group one, you go ahead. You know what else you have to do? There is one more thing. You know, CC this email to the other students in your group. So you're supposed to know the email of your of your group members okay and then I will reply to you to the whole group with the link to your group folder I will reply to you with your group folder that's how I do business okay let me see Professor, when Aiden comes back, does this mean group two has... Yeah, that's right. Let's see. It's going to depend, right? Let's see what happens. Uh, if more people comes comes uh, to the meeting, maybe I'll take one member out of your group and, and join him elsewhere, him or her elsewhere, right? For now, yeah. For now, let's assume that you're going to have four members in your group when Aiden comes back. It, whether it's going to continue to be four is going to depend uh, whether more students come back next week. Okay? Ah, I will get there. I will reply to you, John. Just just send me the email first. First you send me an email and then I will, <laughs> I will send you the link for your group folder, okay? So let me see. Let me go to my email. Let me know, let me go to my email account. Let me see. Have you sent me an email already? Remember, just one email per group, okay? I don't want to get more than one email from a given group. Professor, could you um, share the screen again? Yeah, hang in there. I, I stopped sharing because I have some, you know, confidential information here. Hang in there. Let me see. Yeah, I didn't get emails from you yet. Let me share the screen right now. Must be because you don't see the screen, right? But don't forget my email address is in the syllabus. Uh, let's see, how do I share the screen here? Oh, 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 oh. Okay, so here you go where the folder you are making. Okay, not yet. Here you go. Here you go. Here you go. Coegalon at aol.com. Send me an email. And once, and in this meantime, let's start. Uh, let's go to your. Let's see, where is my ego? Right in here. Group folder, yeah. And here I have group number one. Okay, group number one, did you send me your, the email? 
Let me know when you send me an email, okay? So I can reply to you. I'm gonna share the link of this group folder. Only copy link and uh, change 21 is the link. Yeah, copy link viewer, you'll be able to edit. I will copy and done. Okay, so let's see. Group three has sent. Okay, group two, three, and four, right? Okay, so let's go to group three, two, three, and four for now and share. Uh, change 21 is the link. Let's see, I got uh, link restrict viewer. I gotta edit. Okay, copy the link and we are done. I will reply to group number two right now. Group number two, good. And remember, did you, yeah, you put, right? Yeah, you put the other students there. That's good. I'm going to reply to you all with the group link, with the group folder link. Okay, here you go, group two. Now let's go to group three. I still didn't get a message from group one. Let me know once you send me a message, group one. Send 10, 21 is a link. You'll be able to edit. Group number three, right? Let's go group number three. Yep. You know, okay. One, two, three, I'm gonna reply all. Don't share that with anybody outside your group. And send message, you should have your link right now, group three, let's see, group one. Yeah, let me check if I got your email, group one. Group four, no, I still didn't get. Okay, uh, group four has, let me go to group four. Editor, done. Copy the link, done. Okay, I will reply to you now, group four. Yeah, see group one, I still didn't get your email. I do not know where you send that email to. Let me see, yeah, I still don't have group one's email. Okay. Uh, let's make sure you have the right email address, group one. What uh, address are we using? Email address? Yeah, here you go. That one, My okay. syllabus, coegalon at aol.com. Okay. Eight forty-eight. I don't need that here, right? Nobody's next to me, so I can take out my mask. Take some time to set up that. I've been doing that for two hours already. Did you get it? Did you send it to group one? Didn't get that yet.
Okay, good. I got here. Let me copy the link. Good, done, and now I'm going to send you, let me see, did you see C, yeah, you see C, the other group members, that's, the, again, don't share this link with anybody outside your group, right, here you go, everybody has the link, let me see how is the chat message here going, yes, group, sir. okay, good, so, now you are going to test this link. Let me check those emails here. Yeah. Okay. Let's uh, add to your group folder. Now we are going to check. Now let us make sure you can access your group folder, right? First, one, click the link and make sure you can go inside your group folder. That's the first exercise that we're going to do to make sure everything is working fine, okay? If you're group number one and you click the link, let's see, you should see what? You should see, you know, something like that. Group one, and you should see this, this file in there. This is, this is a spreadsheet, this Excel spreadsheet. Okay? If you don't see anything in there, there is something wrong. And make sure you have here, P37L01G01. Okay? Make sure that's the, f the file that you have here. Group number two is the same, same story, right? Group number two is the same story. You go there inside, you should be able to see, you know, G02 stands for group two. Okay? G02 stands for group two. Group three. I need to know from you if you see this file there inside. Send me a chat message. Okay. Group three. Group four. We are going to be using this spreadsheet in our first experiment. That's the first thing. Make sure I'm going to put here my notes click the link make sure you can go inside the group folder confirm you can see an excel file entitled p37l01g0 your group number right your two digit group number 0102 make sure it's supposed to be an excel file X L S X, right? X is like that. X S L. X. Gosh, is that all it is? Let me take a look there. X L S X. X L. <laughs> X L S X. I see X L S X. I see two message here let's see it's for me okay we can see group one okay group one can see group two group four can see what about group three group three can you see it everybody in the group should be able to see that group three can you see group three okay so next next you know next uh, get any file in your computer, any, click and drag it 
to your folder. Okay? How do you do? You know, if you're group one, let me see. Let me see if I can share anything that's not. Uh, yeah, I'm gonna share this one with group one. Okay? Anything that's not uh, confidential, right? Here you go. So, group one. I want you to get a file in your laptop, in your desktop, in the hard drive of your computer. Click it and drag it to your group folder. Okay, here's your group folder, group one. Click and drag oh and drag it. Here you go. I need you, everyone, every group member to do that. Everyone to make sure that you can have access. Okay, I'm going to delete this file, okay? Delete it. Delete it. So, remove it. So, please, do that, everybody. Let's make sure that you can access, that you can edit your folder. Let me see, group two, did you do anything so far? No, not yet. Group three, did you do anything so far? Nope, not yet. Group four, not yet. Do you know what you have to do, folks? Let's see, group one. Nope, nobody did yet. <laughs> any file, any file. I want every group member to do that. Every group member means, you know, group one, Ortaselli, Ernesto, and Samuel. Make sure you click, drag, and drop a file, a document. Yes, yes we're working on it right now. To your group folder. Group two. Working on that too. Yeah, two. Okay. Whenever you have done that, let me know and I will look at your. What are we supposed to do again? I downloaded. No, 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 no. You, you are not supposed to download the file. You are supposed to upload a file in your hard drive. Get a file. Okay? Don't download that file yet, right? Yeah. No, no, not shareable folder. <laughs> not shareable folder. Shareable folder. I don't think you have access to the shareable folder, do you? You don't have access to the shareable folder. Let me check. It's a group folder. Here you go, shareable folder. Yeah, see? That's the shareable folder. You didn't put anything in there. Oh, group folder. Good. Thank you. Group number four, right? Group number four. Let's see. So, okay, Joe did that, right? FDE. I do not know who is FDE. Who did that? Anybody else in group number? Is that group number two? No, uh, group number four. Tula is me, uh, Professor Franz. It's Franz. Okay. What 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 did you say? I didn't hear you. Uh, um, I, I'm the one. The um Sula test. Uh -huh. FT. Yeah, yeah. S send, send me a text message, please. Uh, so so I can. It's easier to read it than to to hear here in this. And this is a small, you know, laptop. Sometimes it's difficult to... Let's see. Just a second, Professor. My email is being really weird. It really? Okay, France, right? Text file. Okay. Oh, France. Okay, France D. Okay, good. Thank you, France. Group one done. Okay, so let me see who else is... I do not know if it's easier to do that in Discord because I never use Discord. Right, but that's what I have been doing all those years. Oh man, okay, okay, okay. Here you go. Wait a minute, let's go slowly here, okay, folks. See, I usually get this type of problem. Uh, Samuel, you did you upload this folder here? Is that what you did? Yeah, it's up. Is is. Okay, so it looks like you upload the folder, two folders, right, Samuel? Okay, so let's uh, delete them, right? 
Yeah, okay. Good, good. You just upload that. that that's good. So it's working for you, Samuel. Samuel. And now I need to know if your other group members are able to do that as well. Let's see. Group. Uh, group, 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 group. Group one, right? Group one is Samuel managed to do that. What is going on here? Okay. So I'm going to keep a note. Upload. Who upload? Who didn't upload? Right? Samuel managed to do that. Yes. Uh, quick question. Do we have to be signed into Google to uh, upload a document? No. I've been... No. No. All you have to do is to click the link that I sent to you. Yeah, yeah, so I'm on, I'm on my Google Drive. Uh -huh. I've been dragging the same file for like 10 minutes, and it's not loading on there. But 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 did you click your link? Did you click, did you click the link? Yes, sir. Uh, I saw what Samuel uploaded, too. Yeah. So, if, so uh, I do not know. Maybe you have a bad internet connection. I do not know, because Samuel made, managed to do that, right? Uh, just, just like I did. Let me show you how I did. I'm going to do that again. You're... It says you have to log in, so I did. No, you don't have to log in. I don't think you have to log in. All you have to do is to click the link and click and drag. I don't, I can view without login, logging in. Yeah. I sent a file in group two. Okay, so let's see how Okay, while group one works on that, let's see group two, how is that, how they're doing. Yep. So. Okay. Let me go to group two. Let's see how everybody's doing there in group two. Again, I'm going to keep a track of whoever did that. Right. So, Roy, Robert. Right? And Sokavi on group two. Roy. Robert. And. Oh, Roy. Okay. Sokavi and Robert. Okay, good. So let's see group. Okay, so Zamora Aiden is not here. Let's see group three. How are you doing there, group three? Could you check group three? Let me check group three. Group three. <laughs> Let's see. Do uh, I... Okay, you, you put a photo... Uh, wait a minute. Let's see. Okay, Dino. Dino put. Okay, Dino, don't, don't, you created a folder there, Dino. Don't, 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 don't create this folder. Oh, wait a minute. What's going on here? Yeah, you create a new folder inside the group. Don't 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 create a, a a new folder, okay? Yeah. So let me put it back. But the, I see the file here. I do see the file here. Let me move back where it was. It is located. Move to. Let me see if I can get it to the right place. Yeah, group three. Okay, here you go. I want to move back to the same place, okay? Don't 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 change the organization, okay? So otherwise it becomes too complicated. Let's see. Okay, put it back where the power were. Uh, change, download, remove. Okay, Dino, I see your file here. So now I need the other students in the group could you check group three okay group three so do you know i oh john you put uh, there in group group three too let me check john i don't see you see that's group three right john yeah do you know let's see john is group two right let me see john is group man so john 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 yeah john is group three no i don't see anything there john i don't see anything there from you Okay, make sure you get your group folder link, right? Once you mark us down, can you... No, uh, uh, hang, hang in there, Roy. Hang in there. <laughs> let's, uh, let's get everybody uploaded, right? So I can... And then, and then we worry about that. 
What about group four? Okay, group four. Joe and France, right? Joe and France. Joe and France. Okay, good. What about uh, Ryan? Are you having any problems there, Ryan? Ryan is not answering. I want to get more people to do that before we move forward. Okay. So let's see. Let's go back to group one. Okay. Group one only Samuel. <laughs> what about the other students of group one? What uh, are you having any problems? Or to sell? Or to sell? And Ernesto, are you having any problems uploading your files? I don't have permission to upload. Huh? Uh, I guess the the link that you gave me it says that I don't have permission to upload. Oh, you do have. Let me check your group number. Which group number are you? Number one. Okay, so let's see here. Yeah, you do have. Okay, see group one or the cell somewhere. Let's see. Yeah, everybody. Let's see here. See group one. Everybody who has a link has permission to upload. Okay. So here you go, get link, share, take a look. Okay, anyone on the internet with the, this link can add it, see that? So there might be a problem there on your side, I do not know what it is. And your, and your group members were able to, right? Or to sell manage to do that, or to sell manage, yeah, see that? So there might be a problem there on your side somewhat, you know, I do not know what the problem is. So let's see here, next. Let's see, Nathan and John, group three. Let's see, were you able to do anything? Group, group three, group two, right? Roy, Robert, okay, yeah. Group two, everybody's in good shape. Group three, yeah, group three is still have, having a problem. Just Dino, let's see. I don't know how to upload something to the group folder. Okay, all you gotta do, I'm gonna do that for you. I'm gonna, here you go, John. You know, all you have to do is to get a file on your hard drive. You know, here you go, I have a file of mine here in my hard drive, okay? I click, has to be on your hard drive. I click or, or or in the cloud, whatever, right? Click and drag to your group folder. When I release it, it's going to be there. Okay, here you go. See, I just uploaded this file here. So I'm gonna delete my file. Okay, here you go. I'm gonna I don't wanna keep it there. I'm gonna remove my file. So you just you know click, drag and drop. You might want to interface with your with Dino. Dino knows how to do that, right? Because he did it. Now let's see. Group three. What about group four? Group four. Okay, group four. Uh, okay, some of you are having problems. I want to move forward. Okay. Otherwise, you we won't do anything else. So, McNeil was not able, right? John was not able. So, those who were not able to upload the file, interface with your group member to see how they did it. <laughs> okay. Uh, sometimes you have to do the folly, John. Sometimes you have to do, you know, to refresh here. Okay? Sometimes you have to refresh. And, uh, you know... Google Drive sometimes has those, you know, I, I have I have noticed that Google Drive has some bugs. So every now and then you're going to find some difficulty like that. Now it's showing, it's not showing up, right? Yeah. Let's see, here you go. Click on the link, right, that I gave to you. Here you go. Group 3, here you go. Yeah. So it's possible that you have a bad internet connection. Okay, that's a possibility. And uh, 
so you know if you cannot uh, cannot get it now try it later on okay you might not be able to do it now but you might maybe may end up being able to do that later on so i want to move forward so i'm gonna put a note here some of you ernesto you are not able right to upload a file there no not yet okay what's your difficulty there why, why are you having this problem i i want to know as well sir yeah uh it says uh i don't have permission to upload to this folder uh, but... there's something there's something wrong are you using a, a macintosh Mac and who? Tosh? No, I'm no, using... using Windows, right? I do not know, so I do not know why 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 you're having this difficulty. Okay. I find on Google and Firefox and Edge and other. Uh... Yeah, yeah. Sometimes. Do you have a Google account? So, so sometimes it's the browser. Yeah, you you mentioned something important. Sometimes it's the browser. Try the Google. I just. Chrome. I just opened it up right now. Okay. Ryan, yeah, said... which which group are you, Ryan? Ryan, let me see group four. Okay, let me check if I see your your file there. Group four. Okay, yeah, it's in there. See that, Ryan? It's in there. Okay, I think that may help you. Okay, and let me load Ryan here. Okay. So. Yeah, just uh, you know, copy that link, paste on, or just click directly in the link that I sent to you. Okay, and I want you now. Okay, since you are successful in uploading the file, now I want you to delete your file. Don't delete this one here. Don't delete this green one. Don't don't delete the Excel. Delete only the files that you uploaded. Okay, our that's that's a practice. That's for practice purpose. If you manage please please do not delete this file okay do not delete this file this is a delete you know roy delete yours robert delete sokavi right again just a press is a remove right is a remove here you go you do like uh right click and go to the bottom and remove okay remove oops my drive i hate those mouse mouse pads group folder here you go could you see if it worked for me on group three group three let's see yeah did you find out what was the problem john yeah now you manage okay john on group three Okay, just Nathan that didn't get it yet. Uh, and Ernesto, right? So most of you were successful. Let's say 20% was not successful. But, you know, it should work straightforward, okay? So if, you, if there's some, you know, if you're not getting there, maybe it's a browser issue. Maybe it's their internet connection. You know, that, that's, that, that's a guess of mine. And sometimes Google Drive, you know, I know that Google Drive also has some some bugs in there. Yeah. So let's see. And are you folks deleting your files now that you were able to prove to me that you upload the file? Now, now prove to me that you're able to delete your file. Don't delete my Excel file, please. So I'm going to write that down here for you now you know now delete the file you uploaded to your group folder ah, i'm gonna put that in capital letters do not delete oh, do do not delete the file do not delete the file the excel file that is there okay 
How do you delete? How do you? Here you go. Here you go. Right click the file. Drop down menu shows up. Go to the bottom of the drop down menu. Highlight, remove. Okay, that's how you delete the file. I'll do that for you again. Here you go. Group one, were you successful? It looks like one of you was successful. Here you go, Artacel. Highlight your file, right click your file, look at this drop down menu, go to the bottom and remove okay practice that please so let's see i'm gonna keep track of it upload delete who managed to do that samuel managed to do that right or the still didn't manage to do that who else did that uh group two uh oh, comments have changed okay got it Oh, those pop up, pop ups. Let's see, group two. Okay, everybody in group two may manage to do that, huh? Good. Uh, yes, 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 right? Uh, Nathan. Let's see, John, Dino, and Ryan. Let's see, John, Dino, and Ryan. John. Okay. John managed to do it. What about Nathan? Were, were you able to do that, Nathan? Okay, Nathan now managed to upload. John managed to upload. John managed to delete. And Dino managed to delete too, right? Okay, so he go. Let's see how, what's the messages here. Could you see if he work for me on group three yeah it worked for you john john it's all google drive not sure exactly if you have some trouble okay nathan uh let's see nathan managed to upload okay now now nathan must uh, prove to me he managed he can delete let's see group four Okay, group four, everybody was successful. <laughs> okay, so some of you struggle, some of you just do it, right? Uh, so, I'm gonna put here, Nathan, that you didn't do yet. Let's see, Ernesto, yeah, if you didn't upload, you didn't manage, or to sell, right? Let's see if or to sell managed to do it. Yeah, Ortacel did it. Good. Ortacel. Here we go. Who else? Who else? Who else? Who else? Nathan? Did you delete Nathan? Nathan is what? Group 3, I guess. Yeah, group 3. No, Nathan didn't delete yet. Okay. Okay, so just Nathan and uh, Ernesto, right? Ernesto didn't manage to upload, so he cannot. He didn't manage to delete either. Let's see what are the messages here. Got it? Okay, did you delete? You you meant that you you deleted, right? Let me check there, Nathan. Let me refresh. Yeah, you managed. Okay, Nathan did it. Okay, so you proved to me that you can do everything in this folder of yours. Okay, so let me save this guy here. Good. Okay, what's next now? 
That's 919. Uh, okay. Um, okay. So let's uh, let's now. I I need you to download the spreadsheet to your hard drive. Right? How do you download the spreadsheet to your hard drive? That's another exercise. Here you go. I'm here on group number three. Right click. When you right click, you're going to be able to scroll down and download. Okay? And look for this file. The file, you know, when you download it, the file is going to show up here on your left, lower left. Let me show you. Here you go. Right click. I'm going to download. Okay? Watch for here the left side, CP37L01G03, right? And then go in this arrow up, show folder. It should be in my, in the download folder. Download folder. Uh, here you go, right in here. Everybody do that, please. Have been doing that for more than one hour already. It looks like we will have to continue next time because it's getting late here. So, yeah. So I'll have to update my schedule here. Here you go. Doesn't look like we'll be able to do measurements today. Uh, let me update it here. Oh boy. I, I don't know why it does that. Insert cell, go down. Yep, not applicable. Setting up, setting up. Right, we're setting up. And let's see. This guy here has to change. Uh oh. Oh, no. Let's see if I was doing that with my desktop, would have this thing would would go much faster. Now it's spring break. That's the that's the schedule. Let me see, is there anything else? Yeah, I don't need that. I can... Uh, okay, let me see how, what the messages are. The, uh, Nathan got it. Should I keep my group number by my name? Uh, what What do you mean? Should I keep my group number by... I, I do not know what you mean, John. Just remember what your group number... Oh, oh, I see. I understand now. Yeah. Yeah, good idea. Yeah, good idea. You're changing your... You change your handler, right? Good idea. Yeah. Yeah. That's right. I, I got it. Yeah. Uh, John came up with a good idea here. He put his group number in the handler here. But don't forget to put your name too because I want to see who, you know, your name in there. Good idea. Okay. So, let's see. Nine. 25 right i've been doing that for one hour right more than one hour so let's uh let me show you something else before you know i, I didn't finish with this with this syllabus let me show you the link to the videos of the lab right Go to YouTube, youtube.com, and search, okay, so here you go, Egalon, there are very few Egalons out there, look for Claudio Egalon, this guy here is my, he's my cousin there in Brazil, Claudio Egalon. 
right let's see okay that's my link that's my you know go ahead i have a bunch of videos in there click this thing here and uh, if you you know if you want to subscribe would be nice okay so far i have only 33 subscribers and i have a bunch what you gotta do once you go are, are you doing that so we're here you go let's uh access you know now let us access now let us access my youtube channel my youtube channel one go to youtube two Search for Claudio Egalon. Three. Click on my picture, right? That will reroute. That will reroute you to my channel. Okay. So he go, and once uh, you get to this point, right? Let me see how is the. I uh, so said I said you said you see. <laughs> okay. Yeah, that's the credit. I subscribe. Cool. Thank you, John. Here you go. So you should go in the playlist. Okay. Playlist. Well, I just want to caution you, folks. Um. Those videos, they are not high quality, okay? They're not high quality. High quality videos requires lots of time of, you know, you've got to edit. The image, yeah, the image is good quality, okay? I would say the image is good quality. The, song, the sound is good quality, but it's not edited. Because editing a video takes a lot lots of time. But you still have important information there, okay? So, here you go. I have this, this, and this, you know? Physics labs. You want to go to physics lab. Okay? I think I showed that to you before, right? Let me see if that's what okay, I want. Okay, today is oh, November 4, 2021. Wait a minute. And stop it. Stop it. We are going to... Okay, that's a late... Uh, I do not know why it start playing this one. Let me see if I can do better than that. But you have a list here of the videos, okay? The first thing that you can do, you, you, you have to do, is to review lab one. Oh, wait a minute, measurements, yeah. That's, that's the first thing I want you to do, folks. Okay? For some reason, it's not in alphabetical order. Ideally, it should be in alphabetical order. You know, so that first half hour next week that you are going to, from 7 to 7.30, I expect you to review... You know, as much as you can of this video. This video is a little bit longer, ha almost one hour. My videos in general, let's see, it's 20 minutes, okay? I did those videos last semester. But some of them is too long. This one I was still getting, for this one I was still getting the hang for it. That's why it ended up being like almost one hour. But try to see as much as you can. See, this video here is six minutes long. This one here, one hour and 50 minutes long. It's, it's two lab one, see that? Lab one, two versions of lab one. One has far more information than the other one. This one was the 9th of September. This one is 16th of September, 2021. Okay, so, you know, we start with the shorter version. See if you can learn something, okay? I am recording a video right now, like I told you, and I will upload this video whenever I am done. Do you do you need let, let me send you the the link so you can go straight to the link. <laughs> Let's see. Here you go link to my uh, everybody, right? Everybody, everyone in meeting. Link to my YouTube channel. That's the link to 
the lab the lab videos I don't think I put that in the syllabus the lab videos of my YouTube channel let's see what else I can yeah I read out to my channel uh, what else you have to do that's one way you know this one this here is one way the link is another way okay uh, what else you have to do how do I do that let's see here let's go back let's walk back here right playlist right you gotta uh, okay click playlist that's another way of click playlist uh, five click what this one would that be let's see you gotta physics lab click physics lab click physics lab look for the lab one video okay and play it before our next class meeting and watch it and watch it before our last class meet look for lab one video okay there are two versions of this lab one video start with the shortest version okay and watch it before our next class meeting okay so here you go we will don't forget we will meet again next week at 7 30 p.m once we get all those things out of the way you know the it's gonna our meets are gonna be much quicker right now we're setting up things i'm using my laptop that's not an ideal condition for me right but uh, once we start it next week with my desktop there at home things are gonna go much faster p37 oops p37 lab notes see even the <laughs> the keyboard is terrible to to type here those laptops the keyboard of the laptop is terrible you know uh, everything takes much longer we only meet on Thursday that's right for the labs we only meet on Thursday but we for your lecture you meet on Tuesday and Thursdays Crawford meets you on Tuesdays and Thursdays for the lecture okay any questions 932 let's see what else I can uh, move ahead for you I think uh, yeah uh, let's see here lab report yeah next time I will continue with the graphs you want to take a little bit uh, some time to go with the graphs right and uh, next time I will cover how to plot graphs and we'll try to finish the syllabus what i want to show you before we leave today is the schedule okay the schedule of classes here so we are right here this spot setting up setting up and syllabus syllabus and setup right syllabus and setup So next time we we will if we will you know I will cover significant figures and we're going to do this measurement lab which is that first spreadsheet that you downloaded okay so then this lab is going to be due on the 
on March 3rd, what I usually do is those experiments is that I give a little break between lab one and lab two because you folks are still learning how to do the lab report in the spreadsheet, okay? So I walk you through the, your spreadsheet, measurement spreadsheet, point out what, uh, what you didn't do correctly, okay? What you, you need to do in the correct way. And then we move to lab number two that you uniformly acceleration, accelerated motion. And I will do the same thing that I did with the measurement lab. I will provide you with actual data of actual experiments. I, I didn't make up that data. Those, la, those, those data that I provide to you, my students generated those, da, those data in a real lab, okay? Then next, what are we gonna do? Lab three. Vectors and the force table. I will explain to you how this experiment is done. And hopefully, huh? I even illustrated you that to, with a Google, with a YouTube video. Projectile motion. Next, you're going to have Cesar Chavez holiday, spring break, right? Two consecutive meetings with no classes because of the holiday. That is the Newton's law, second law experiment, uniform circular motion one and two. This lab here, uh, this lab, this lab, uh, let's, do, let's do the following. You know what? Uh, let's, uh, let's do this way. Here you go. Like that. And uh, if you have time, we do lab 11 too. Okay. What I want to tell you, those four labs here, I have a video, very high quality video on that. It's only six minutes long, but I'm really proud of this video that I did. It's my own video. I hired uh, an artist to do that for me, and I'll show you that uh, at the end of the of the semester, okay? And every experiment will have its own spreadsheet that I will provide you with with the data. Okay, so let's see if we have any more questions. I want to stop right now. Uh, we'll f any questions, folks? Words? Let me see if you have any questions. Here you go. Yeah, you're all quiet there, right? Let's see. I took attendance. We have 12 students. Okay, let's finish right now. And uh, we meet on Thursdays. Yeah, we meet on Thursday. And I... We can stop now. I see you next week. Thank you all for being here. Okay. Thank you, Professor. Thank you. Just be sure we. That's right. Next meeting, I'll sh we'll do an experiment. Okay. And uh, right now, I'm just covering the syllabus and uh, setting up stuff. So see you all next week. 7.30 next week, yeah. I'll have a better computer there. We are going to do things in a far more efficient way. But don't forget, use that half hour from 7.30 to review my videos.